Yeah! Welcome back to yet another box art reviews with me, Gore the Movie God, and this is the big return because I haven't done one of these in so long, in a few months I would say, since June last year I would say, or maybe even July, but it's been almost a year, so... Let's get straight back into it. Let's just get right into it with, of course, our first box art, which is Max Payne 3. What better way to start off a new, brand new return to box art reviews with the new, brand new return of Max Payne. And this box art is standard Rockstar games. I mean, they give a very realistic look to the characters a very stylized look just like gta 4 and even red dead redemption and stuff it has a really nice art style to it you have max Payne; he's all gruff he has his little beard thank god they didn't give him uh the bald head in in the cover because i'm sorry i'm not really a big fan of the bald head he looks like uh what's his name from uh breaking bad but uh he looks pretty cool he got his little scratch there he looks rough and tough he's like don't screw with me i'm max Payne. i've seen some shit and uh you got the terrorist guy with an ak you'll probably kill about 500 of those guys and then you got that hot i'm guessing cuban woman i can't really tell uh whatever and then you got a helicopter in the background you got some nice little, little sky blue and a little bit of the looks like shanty towns in the background i don't know it looks like a good box art it's nothing Amazing, it's Rockstar Games usual stuff, you know, a background with a helicopter and the main character looking gruff. So, there you go, it's standard box art. So, you know what, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Let's go on to the next one, which is Game of Thrones the Video Game. That's double the game for the price of one. And this box art, I gotta admit, looks pretty damn bland. Because, I mean, it's a cool idea, you have a bunch of swords and, I, that's pretty much, maybe daggers, a little bit of maybe bows, I mean, maybe a couple of arrows, I don't know, um, making up a throne, which, I mean, it's called Game of Thrones, I guess it's about, oh, kings and stuff, and murder and dragons or whatever, uh, I never watched a TV show, which I should, I know, I really want to see it, but, uh, I heard it's really good, so, um, yeah, it looks okay, I mean, it looks just like the season one poster art, which, it just doesn't have Sean Bean on the cover going, oh, I'm, I'm the main character of season one, so, it, it's pretty generic. I mean, it's a cool idea. Swords making up a throne because it could be a lot of fighting, but a lot of kingly stuff, I guess. I don't know. It looks it looks okay. Uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. You know, it's not nothing amazing, but it's, it's okay. Let's go on to the next game. Battleship the Game, the board game movie video game. Uh, <laughs> that was confusing. Um, and this box art, I gotta admit, the game itself looks horrible, the movie looks horrible, uh, I would even say the movie looks worse than the game, I'd actually rather play the game than watch the movie, but I gotta admit, for a horrible looking game, the box art actually looks pretty decent, I mean, it's nothing amazing, but it looks pretty cool, I mean, I like how they use blue in this, I mean, they have to use blue in this, because, I mean, it's the ocean, it's battleships, there's gonna be battleships, I mean, if you don't put a battleship on your front cover of your game, then why are you calling a battleship but I don't know anyway it looks nice I love the uh, use of the colors and the blue and stuff uh, the aliens come and crashing down on the uh, battleship it gives a a good representation of what the game's gonna be about you're gonna be on a battleship fighting off uh, aliens and of course some first-person shooter action uh, the backgrounds look very nice while the city's getting destroyed it looks like um, it's a decent boxer I gotta admit so you know what I'm gonna give this box art, I'm going to give it a 7, just like I gave Max Payne 3. So anyway, there you go. Next game is Haka Katana. Now, this box art, I can barely review because I, I've tried this like five times already. And I can barely review this box art because I'm not an anime fan. So I automatically hate it when I see these overly sexualized man and female characters on the front cover. Actually, I'm not even sure. They both might be female. I'm not even, I'm not completely sure. Uh, that one on the left might just be a buff female with no tits. I don't know. Uh, but, uh. I don't, I don't know how to review this, really. I mean, the animation itself, like the drawing aspect, I don't know, the way they look, looks pretty good. That lighting is really nice with the moon in the background shooting on them. Uh, the background itself looks pretty good, but I hate, I hate the overly dramatic look they're giving each other. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not overly dramatic look, because he's looking at his sword and she's freaking has her eyes closed looking like a derpasaur. And it's just, I don't know. I'm just gonna give it a four out of ten. I don't, I don't like it. I mean, it's nice animation, sure. And if you're a Japanese fan, you'll, I mean, a Japanese anime fan, you'll love it. But not me. So anyway, let's go on to our next game, which is Mario Tennis Open for the 3DS. Yeah, more tennis action with Mario. I really wanted this. No, I didn't. But 
I gotta admit the box art itself looks really nice. I mean, you have in the background about a million Shy Guys, a couple of Koopas, you'll notice if you look really closely, but most of them are Shy Guys looking in, going, yeah, you know, and I love Shy Guys. Uh, you have a bunch of Toads going, I don't know, doing stuff. I don't know, the Toads, no one cares. Uh, you got Mario going like, man, get that ball out of my face. And you got Yoshi's like, what? whoa, you're looking at that ball, it's going fast. And you got Bowser, like, just being angry. So he's being Bowser. And you got Peach in the background being hot. So that's pretty much it. It's very colorful. I love the, I love all the colors on it. I mean, it looks like a game I would play just because, wow, it looks colorful, very cheer, cheerful, and fun. Uh, from what I've heard, the game's not getting great reviews. But, I don't know. Box art looks really nice. So it definitely sells it on that aspect. So you know what? Nintendo knows how to do their box arts. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. I really enjoyed looking at it. So anyway, let's go on to our next game, which is Diablo 3. We started this box art reviews, the long-awaited return with Max Payne 3, the third iteration of a game series that has been long and dormant. And we're doing it again with Diablo 3, the third iteration of a game series that has been long and dormant. And... Wow, this game I cannot wait for. Sadly, I will not be able to play it this 15th because my PC sucks. So I'm looking forward to it, but I can't play it. But I got to say this box art is uh, uninspired. And I know why. It's because you could download the game on Steam. So why do we need box art? But, you know, come on. Give us a cooler box art, Blizzard. I mean, it has Diablo's face on it. He looks pretty angry. It's a very nice design. There's nothing really else going on. There's some little shiny stuff, and you got the Diablo 3 font which looks cool, I guess, but really there's not much else. So there's not much to talk about this, but I got to say, I cannot wait for Diablo 3, and I really want to play it. I love Diablo 1 and 2. Sure, I don't much know much about the story of those two games because I was a kid when I played them, but I got to admit, I can't wait for this game. I really, really want to play it, and I'm hoping a 360 version comes out because then I will be all over that like uh, the flies and the doo-doo. So... I'm going to give this box art a 6.5. It's a nice design, but there's not much else going on. And that was pretty much it. That was our last box art. And I hope you enjoyed the big return of box art reviews. It's going to happen every Sunday from now on. Unless I have three movies to review, then I'll have to postpone it for a day. So, yeah. Sometimes I have to review three movies in a weekend. So, which won't be for a little while. So, for the next week's box art reviews, I will take a look at Ghost Recon. Future Soldier and the Men in Black video game and some other ones. So that's a little preview for you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, and also happy Mother's Day! Ooh, go googie googie.